Okay, welcome uh, listeners. Uh, I have with me a very special guest today on Shorts, and um, uh, so welcome, Saurabh, to uh, this episode of Shorts, as I call it. Uh, you know, this is a community initiative where we are talking to you know senior business and HR leaders to get their views around talent on different aspects. Uh, so, for listeners, uh, those who may or may not know Saurabh, Saurabh Govil is the CHRO of Wipro, one of the most successful uh, IT companies, and more important, of course, that. Uh, you know, apart from IT, they've got other businesses, uh, you know, in other parts of the Wipro group. And Azim Premji, of course, is a known personality. So, Saurabh, welcome to this chat. Thanks, Simon. Thanks for having me over. It's a pleasure to be here. So, uh, Saurabh, just, you know, at a, at a, you know, global level, since you, 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 you lead a, you know, global company in that sense, uh, you know, from a talent management perspective, what are the, what are the broad trends you are seeing? You know, that what are the, what are, what are companies now looking to focus on? You know, over the next two three years. So, two or three things have happened in our industry, and I'll be specific to our industry. Uh, sure. What has happened to our industry? One is uh, we realized when this pandemic hit us, you know, in the about nine ten months back, uh, we were the few uh, people felt very comfortable being part of large industries because it was mm -hmm. pure. There was. Uh, Jobs were continuing, you know, kind of stuff. Uh, salaries were coming on time. It was not the Correct. case with smaller setups. So that Correct. cash flow issue. Absolutely. And what I'm going to say is a complete dichotomy because this was one part. Mm. But second, what we realized is being in the tech in world, it was for us a revolution that today, even after 10 months, 90% of our workforce is working from wherever they are. Right. Not at the workplace. So it became anytime, anywhere kind of a situation, really leapfrog from a digitization standpoint. So with that, our reach to get to people and mm -hmm. talent has become very different. Correct. Could be in terms of the demographic profile of talents. It could be in terms of the location of talents. Mm -hmm. And for us, even in case of today, we, we had to cross border because we had to send people for overseas Today, we can serve them anywhere, anytime for our clients also. Right. So things like today we have in India, if I look at it, we can reach people in tier two, tier three cities without having been there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another data point for us, if I take India as an example, 40% of our workforce is not working from their place of work. Mm -hmm. So they've mm -hmm. gone back to their hometowns. They've gone back right. to their, you know, stuff because it's economically making sense. A lot of young work workforce, they were staying as PGs and kind of stuff. They right. make it easier. The only constraint being the infrastructure and, and mm. as infrastructure improves in the country, it will be easier. But very clearly, so reach to tier two, tier three cities, groups of people who we, we could identify and get them into the workforce no more. You know, right. women, part-time workers, mm. you know, people with disabilities, you know, they, reaching out to such people who are very capable, who are constrained because of travel, commute. Right. Are, right. Are, that's the other thing. That's one part of it from a change of pandemic. Right. The second part of it, Bimal, is coming is in terms of, you're realizing that generic skill sets are becoming yeah. a challenge. Hmm. If you're not an expert, if you don't have anything which is special, the demand for such skills is limited. You know, so right. There's a premium if you carry something which is. So mm. I keep telling everybody that we all have to acquire something which is unique, correct, and different, correct. So, so because these two aspects, reach uh, has become very different, and unique in, in becoming having something that is very special has become important. Mm. Mm. What about what about so? No, those are great points. Or what about leadership talent? Because you know, if you take that reach point. I would guess that for a global company, uh, you know, even at a leadership level, the same principles would apply. And is there anything changing in that space, uh, both, you know, either skill sets, mindset, or even in terms of approach to talent? So leadership skills, you know, I, I feel there are two or three big changes that are happening. Hmm. Uh, one is, and these are more in terms of behavior, the kind of leaders we are wanting for tomorrow. Correct. One is, and I give a cricket analogy, it's about resilience, you hmm. know. Mm -hmm. We need days of a T20 are over. You know, it's it's right. a test match. There will be one inning which will be of a bad. You know, one another will be a better, and we have to be very very comfortable with that environment. Right. You know, so 
expecting things to happen overnight, quick results, things are going to change. Hmm. That's why we want leader the resilience, who can see the side which are not so good and manage it in adversity. So that's right. one. Second is about empathy. We hmm. want leaders with real empathy. You know, it's right. coming out that uh, in today's circumstances, it's been tough for people to even work from home, you know, with hmm. different issues, family sitting at home, you know, kids at home, you know, not enough space for people and managing these things. Uh, and we have all read and heard that, you know, timelines have got stretched, you know, days become longer. You know. So in that environment, how, what person is going through and, you know, the entire thing on empathy is becoming, which is important. The third one on leadership, which I would, is about having self-confidence. Mm. Because in this environment, you know, we have to believe that we can do something different. Right. There is a will to make that happen. Uh, and a lot of organizations have led the path in those things. Correct. And leadership has to have that belief and give that belief to that larger organization. So these correct. critical traits from a leadership standpoint are what leaders expected for tomorrow. Mm. No, I think those are great points. And that, you know, the interesting bit about the self-confidence thing, and as I talk to other leaders as well, uh, I think one of the aspects of that is about that how do you deal with the ups and downs and not, not just in the ways of working and all that, but uh, because there are so many changes happening all around us, you know, including regulatory, economic, social, whatever it is, you know, there will be some downs and, uh, you know, particularly for companies which have only tasted success or leaders who only tasted success, it will be an interesting test over the next few years Absolutely. to see that aspect of resilience, you know, how does they display that? You know. True character, Vimal, as you know, comes out in adverse situations. Yeah. You know, how the individual is, how he behaves, how he or she behaves, how he works with people. And we need to get people who can manage this with Correct. resilience and confidence. Is there, is there, you know, I want to probe a little bit sort of on a different aspect because one of the things one is also hearing is that, uh, you know, managers who or leaders who've been traditionally very control centric are finding it very difficult to operate in this new environment because you know you you don't have people sitting in front of you and and this may not always be in the IT industry context but also otherwise and uh, including a lot of customers actually customers in some industries we are hearing are having trouble because now they can't see a physical body and you know the control levels are going what are you seeing in that whole space of very life? true I, I think you hit the nail in the head it is very true you know control freaks people you know you have to this is also an era where we have to the issue of trust on people. Mm, mm, mm. You know, an era where you have to trust people that they are there to do the right things. Right. They will manage their outcomes. You do not look at input. You will yeah. not look at you know input in terms of hours put in, you know, time they're doing, how they are and let people flower by trusting them and mm. delivering outcomes. It's right. a big shift for a leader. It's a big shift for people to accept that reality. Right. And that's why it's about leadership of letting go. Mm -hmm. It's about letting go and letting people take things on their hand. And learning has been, we have seen, some people are struggling with it. Now. Correct. Some people who have been able to cross the hump. You know, they're seeing that people are delivering to them what they never believed they could. So, right. So youngsters have really come up and risen from the and, and delivered much more than beyond because they were given with that responsibility and they was they were trusted to do those outcomes. So Correct. trust becomes a big issue. Trust mm. becomes that people are there to do their jobs. Yeah. In today's world, 98% people are people who would want to make a difference, want to do Correct. something good. It's that 2% which is in every aspect of life you'll find yeah. and you do not get bogged down by those. Correct. 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 No, that's a good point. And if I, you know, one of the one of the other things I am finding, you know, in talking to various people, also, you know, our own sort of interaction with various leaders, etc., you know, people with, let's say, a stronger inner balance, you know, in the sense that they take a broader, more magnanimous view of the world, as against those who are not personally balanced, you know, tend to have, you know, the the more balanced people are being able to adapt much more quickly. They are a lot more resilient. They are able to trust people much more quickly. You know, the people who don't have that, if you may call it that inner, you know, uh, strength or the inner balance, they are getting rattled very quickly. And, and, you know, they are actually getting, you know, almost sort of the stress is, you know, catching up with them and, you know, health issues and all kinds of other issues. Are catching up. I don't know whether, whether, whether you have any tips or tricks on this or saying, 
you know this is how we could groom leaders who are more centrally balanced very true you know that's that's been true uh, always sure i think it's become much more accentuated in the current environment yeah, yeah absolutely first being self aware mm. you know i think uh, we we need to be self aware second i need to be confident having a team which is better than around you which is better than you correct being very secure absolutely you will have we have a secure leaders you know because that's gets the better outcome you know correct i think these are the traits today of being self aware and being secure will lead to a better but i think other one aspect has come out is about health and wellness mm, mm. and we are seeing a lot of people getting impacted because of that. and right personally i had not taken it so seriously but it is very critical mm. mental well being and wellness and health is so critical that inner self which you are saying we have correct to drive being secure and because that will drive a lot of behaviors for people right right so that's a, that's a good point because uh, you know there's a lot of research now and and obviously you know uh, crisis like this also uh, brings our focus back to certain things like health and all that but there's a fair amount of research happening now which is saying that uh, you know if you're not feeling healthy whether mentally or emotionally or physically uh, your language on a day to day basis changes you know your anger goes up irritability goes up you know the ability to and and one of the one of the interesting ones i was you know looking at for example that your judgment tends to get impaired quite significantly actually it's not just an issue of uh, you know that you are irritable but your actual ability to make a good quality decision goes down dramatically and uh, and, and you know that and like you rightly said you know it's always been evident but somehow it's got accentuated in these times kind of thing you know so very so you're so right you know that what decisions you take is all about your inner peace you know it's, it's Correct. so it's Correct. very you know i have seen people leaders reacting in a very different way because they are uncomfortable in talking yeah so different you know different tech uh, sort of you know there are a lot of uh, tech companies you know not just service companies but now there are all these you know many startups and you know let's say mid stage uh, companies kind of thing you know many of them are trying to go global you know and they they almost look at companies like a wipro or infosys or a, you know some of these companies as you know role models of the early years if you will who actually gone and created a global you know entity of a very successful kind kind of a thing if there are now these new age companies you know which are trying to create global empire so to say more through products than through services and very often from a talent and leadership point of view what are the two three things you would point out saying you know keep these in mind you know when you are when you are growing and we're going to go global from india uh, two three learnings which i can share you know one is you know the traditional in the indian it heritage services companies grew or became global by and there was a business uh, principle at that point of time by moving a lot of talent from within the country to these these locations mm-hmm. these countries. our learning as we have matured now over two or three decades has been that you know truly being global is building local leadership right building local you know it's not about going and planting flags in different parts of the world correct it's about truly building local leadership mm-hmm. and my suggestion to all the mid tier companies that have gone into that they should look at this aspect from the very beginning right right because that's how you really build a truly global organization where you get assimilate different cultures different nuances there right in this you know we realize that when you deal with clients you know people deal with people whom they are comfortable with mm. people deal with people whom they trust you know you need to have and their cultural nuances yeah. you know so it is always best to have people who are local and and make a difference correct third is it's about building leadership local leadership it's not also about creating the troops there yeah because often we have done as we have created the troops which are local but still have a very indian uh, you know leadership right. and culture building in an organization happens from leadership role modeling mm, absolutely okay people look at leaders and they exactly do and behave the way leaders are behaving right. we need to make sure we we do that so mm-hmm. if i look at it build local talent build local leadership from day one which is there correct right. but the last most important is create a 
of values or cultures which encompasses across the organization, which is keeps them as one organization wherever they are from. Right. That's right. the binding force for them, not you know this thing. These are the two or three tips for from. No, no. Uh, I think those are those are useful tips because you know a lot of Indian companies are now become very ambitious and and they have the money and and the, and the thinking to go global. But I think some of these practical learnings are what perhaps you know they may need to take back. So last question, uh, uh, sort of in this conversation. So, uh, what are you seeing on the customer side? You know, what kind of things are changing on the customer side? Because you know that has a huge implication on talent in general. But uh, what are what 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 are you hearing on that side? So two things. One, like we spoke about leaders, customers are getting comfortable by giving up control. Mm. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. In our, because in our system also, they wanted people next to them, Correct. managing them, managing their projects, kind of stuff. That's not possible today. So they are comfortable, which is you know that like, give me the outcome. That's right. one. So the second more important thing, which is the talent implications of that, is because they are very outcome getting more outcome driven. They are wanting the very very best of talent breed. Hmm. Hmm. They don't yeah. want to compromise there. Correct. So somebody in front of them, okay, I know him. He's a good guy, kind of stuff. Yeah, Their relationships, yeah, I can yeah. do it. But here it's very odd. so they want the best of breed, and hence the demand for high quality talent is becoming. A, a, yeah. And in a service like ours, where it's only there's no product, it's only talent. Correct. You know, there becoming more demand. So I think these are these are the two things, and they're willing to pay that premium. But and hence, yeah. my, I'll come back to my first point on talent is that. Building expertise is becoming an expert in one area or two areas is becoming critical for future uh, from a talent standpoint. Now, yeah. great, Saurabh. It's been you know lovely to have this conversation with you as usual. And of course, we are not able to catch up physically, but hopefully, you know, in in you know, in spite of all the digital advances and the virtual stuff and all, I I personally still feel that at least once in a mile, one should meet. No, no, I completely agree. Well, uh, I miss miss having a drink with you, and I look forward to doing it whenever we. Catch Whenever we next meet, absolutely. Thank you, Saurabh. Thank you Thank very much for this discussion. Thanks. Thanks.